holy that ain't that a mug to look at well another day here at the shop to uh well to work on the truck don't let this sunshine fool you it's cold out there it's it's cold i'm used to a nice warm heated shop so working out the cold i'm spoiled now i don't like doing it anymore so now i'm just trying to uh sit in the car and drink my coffee and uh try to work up the courage to get out there and well, it looks like a dead body as my buddy hubsy says but uh it's drive shaft to go in the truck because i had to change the yoke <sighs> great let's get after it i guess so i i hit the end of the record before i was done talking with my brain um trying to do like a little recap of where we're at clutch pedal still not in basically where the end of the last video was so i gotta deal with that today but trying to do interior plastic work in these cold temperatures is kind of hard because uh you know plastic brittle old not good combination so i gotta see if i can dig out my little electric heater which i think is in the back of the old truck i think but it's also buried in a bunch of stuff so i i i don't want to but i have to so i can put the heater inside the truck run the cord out to it obviously so at least heat the inside giving a little bit of a better chance of not breaking everything all at once so i think that's going to be step one and then i'll put the heater in and then while that's heating up the inside of the cab i'll throw the drive shaft in because it won't take me long take me like 10 minutes so yeah step one of video two of probably ten thousand and thirty six. in now to get this piece of plastic clutch pedal because that's gm's great idea let's get that in there actually that's not gonna be a good spot you're not gonna be able to see anything all right so right in my first crop i don't know if you can see because of the sun but obviously this is the hole where the clutch pedal goes um once everything's lined up and bolted in on the inside the clutch pedal doesn't quite fit in this hole and that was kind of a problem because i had to make the hole but I, had, I couldn't use just a regular uh, hole saw because there was already a hole drilled in there for auxiliary stuff. So anyways, I missed it by about an eight or a quarter of an inch too high. So now I had to, excuse me, make the holes there and just make them, because 
were just like the perfect size holes for the bolts, but I had to make them slightly bigger so that way there'd be enough slop up and down so that way it can actually bolt or for the this section to go through the firewall. So that's where we're at there. All right, so clutch pedal bolted in. Now for the next problem. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but uh, that's not gonna work. So unbolt that guy. I thought about just slicing her off with the sawzall, but uh, I have the right part right there. So I might as well just bolt it in. It's one bolt, easier said than done. It's tighter than a nun's, you know what. Okay, delayed progress report because I can't even bother to pick up the cam. Uh, pick up the camera, I guess. Clutch pedal in. Wiring for the clutch pedal done. Obviously, I got to install that yet. Brake pedal in. Attached. Wiring done. Dash halfway back in. Sun's going down. It's cold. I still got to put two wheels away. Oh, got wheels on it now that aren't screwed. Yeah, call that a day.